can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. So let's start with a triangle. Now, inside of this triangle, let's draw a square. And it is also given that the area of this triangle on the top is 1 square units. The area of this triangle on the right-hand side is 1 square units also. And the area of this right triangle on the left side is 3 square units. Now, the question is what is the area of this square? So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the area of this square, represented as A. And now to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do since we want the area of the square, so let x be the side of the square. Therefore, we need x squared, that is the area of the square. And of course, all of the side is equivalent to x. Now, let's focus on this right triangle having an area of 1 square units. And what we're going to do is to rewrite the base in terms of x. So we know the area is 1 half times base times height. We know the height. This is x and the area, which is 1. Now, solving for b in terms of x, b is equivalent to 2 over x. And that is the base of this right triangle. Now, what we're going to do here is from this vertex, we will draw a segment that is parallel to this segment right over here, like this. Now, since these two segments are parallel, we can say that these two right triangles over here are congruent. Here's the reason. These two angles are equal. These two angles are also equal, and they have the same height. So by A, A, S, postulate, these two right triangles are congruent. Now, since these two right triangles are congruent, we know that the base of this right triangle is also 2 over x. And the area of this right triangle is also 1 square units. Now, from here, let's focus on this right triangle with an area of 3 square units. And again, what we're going to do is to rewrite the base of this right triangle in terms of x. So, using the formula, we have a equals 1 half times base times height. We know the area is 3. And we know the height is x. Now, solving for b in terms of x, b is simply equivalent to 6 over x. So that is the base of this right triangle. Now from here, let's focus on this triangle having an area of 4 square units. Now notice, this triangle on the top is similar to the triangle having an area of 4 square units. Now, this will help us to solve for the value of x because... Since these two triangles are similar to each other, the ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of their corresponding sides raised to the power of 2. So we have 1 to 4 equals x over 6 over x plus 2 over x and raised to the power of 2. So now, if we solve the value of x in this equation, then we're done. Just square it, and that's the area of the square. So let's focus on this equation. And what we're going to do is to combine 6 over x and 2 over x because they are similar fraction. So we have 8 over x. Now, if we take the reciprocal of this denominator, we have x squared over 8. Now, x squared is the area of this square. So instead of squaring this x squared over 8. So what we're going to do is to take the square root on both sides because if we get the value of x squared, then we're done. So getting the square root on both sides, we have 1 over 2 equals x squared over 8. And multiply both sides by 8, we have 4 equals x squared, which is the area, the square. Therefore, given this figure, then the area of the square is equivalent to 4 square units and s. Always, we are done.